tonight, food and water shortages are fueling a growing humanitarian crisis in Puerto Rico. Much of the island has also been without power since Hurricane Maria roared ashore nearly one week ago. More than 10,000 federal workers are on the ground now. But critics say that federal aid has come too slow. At least 16 people have died. The island's governor warns that the crisis could lead to a mass exodus of Puerto Ricans into the United States. As good questions mount about the United States response, President Donald Trump today touted his administration's amazing job in Maria's wake. He said he would visit that hurricane-ravaged island next week, and that had viewers like Nina from Apple Valley wondering, what is Puerto Rico's relationship with the U.S.? Here's Heather Brown. Puerto Rico and the U.S. have had a special relationship since 1898, when the island was ceded to the U.S. by Spain as part of the treaty to end the Spanish-American War. The quantity of the aid that comes to Puerto Rico needs to be consistent with the aid that would be provided anywhere else uh, in the United States. Puerto Ricans are U.S. citizens, and they have been since 1917. But a recent poll suggests more than half of Americans don't know that. Puerto Ricans have U.S. passports and can travel freely between the two places. They pay most federal taxes like Social Security, Medicare, payroll, but they don't pay federal income tax. There are 3.5 million uh, U.S. citizens on the island of Puerto Rico, which is a U.S. commonwealth. Puerto Rico is a commonwealth and a U.S. territory. It can't enact its own foreign policy, but its people elect their own governor. They cannot vote in U.S. federal elections, like for the president, but they can vote in presidential primaries because those are run by the parties. Puerto Rico does send a resident commissioner to the U.S. House of Representatives, but she doesn't have a vote there. Last year, in a low turnout election, 97 percent of Puerto Ricans voted to become a U.S. state. That wouldn't happen, though, unless Congress approves it. Puerto Rico needs a lot of money. I'm going to Puerto Rico on Tuesday. Scheduled trip. Puerto Rico is entitled to FEMA money. According to FEMA, the 1998 Stafford Act requires the governor of an affected state to request the president declare a major disaster. It goes on to say states include Puerto Rico, the District of Columbia, Virgin Islands, Guam, American Samoa, and the Northern Mariana Islands. Earlier today, members of Congress said they will have a post hurricane aid package for Puerto Rico, like Texas and Florida. They're just not sure when. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. Puerto Rico's First Lady started an initiative to try to help families affected by the hurricanes. You can donate to the United for Puerto Rico Fund right now through WCCO.com slash links. You'll also find a list of supplies that they need there, along with how to raise awareness through social media campaigns.